for the following function and determine whether or not the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x and the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x actually exists. We need to accurately graph and sketch this function first. So because we have the piecewise function, we need to graph it out for negative x minus 2 when x is less than or equal to negative 1. So we need to graph out this function, and we would have a y-intercept at negative 2. And a slope of negative 1. But remember, x starts at that negative 1, which means that this y-intercept here isn't actually going to be part of it. Here's my starting point when x is negative 1. And there's one portion of my graph. It is going to be x when it's between negative 1 and positive 1 for x. So right at this point, suddenly it just becomes x. And it's going to continue on through this direction. But remembering that it doesn't actually have the equal sign at the end here. So I need to make sure that I leave that as an open dot for that last point. And then it turns into the quadratic function of x squared minus 2x at this point, which is going to look like this. So now I can see the three distinct portions of my graph. I have one, I have two, I have three. When it says the limit as x approaches negative one of f of x, then I'm going to say that for this function, as it's approaching negative 1, or getting closer to negative 1, from the left, well, from either side, it's going to look like this. So let's take it from the left-hand side. The limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left-hand side is going to use this portion of my function, negative x minus 2. I'm going to sub in the negative 1 into this, and I'm going to wind up with negative of negative 1 minus 2, or negative 1. And we can see here, it absolutely is approaching negative 1. If I'm approaching from the right, limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right-hand side is going to be just x, which is just going to equal negative 1. And from what I see here, the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left-hand side of this function is the same as the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right-hand side of this function. Therefore, the limit as x approaches negative 1 of this function does exist because they are equal 
and it is just negative 1. What about for positive 1? When it's approaching positive 1 from the left-hand side, we're using that x function. So the limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side is just going to be x, which is just going to equal 1. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right-hand side is going to be that x squared minus 2x. And when I do the substitution, 1 squared minus 2 times 1 is equal to negative 1. What do we notice about this? The limit as x approaches 1 from the left side for this function is not equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the right-hand side of the function. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x does not exist. They're not equivalent. This one does not exist. We already know that f of x is continuous at a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. If f of x is not continuous at a, we say it is discontinuous at a. If we refer to the graph from the second example, shown on the right here, where is the point of discontinuity? Well, we see that right here. That point of discontinuity exists when x is equal to 2. So we can say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 2, or we can say that it has a discontinuity at x is equal to 2. Remember, a continuous function has no breaks or holes, whereas discontinuities occur where there are breaks or holes in the graph, where it doesn't just continue on. Go ahead and try the same process for example 5. All you're going to do is graph out the function for these piecewise values and then figure out where the functions are discontinuous. Taking a look at example 6. What value of a, you can see here, makes the function f of x where it's x squared minus x plus 1 if x is greater than 3 and x plus a if x is less than or equal to 3 continuous everywhere? Well, what does it mean for it to be continuous? If f of x is continuous the limit as x approaches a for f of x has to equal f of a This means that the limit as x approaches 3 from the left-hand side for f of x has to equal the limit 
as x approaches 3 from the right-hand side of f of x. So we could say that x squared minus x plus 1 has to equal x plus a when they meet where x is equal to 3. And then I can just sub in the value of x. 3 squared minus 3 plus 1 has to equal 3 plus a. Or 3 squared minus 3 plus 1 is 7, has to equal 3 plus a. Subtract 3 from both sides. This is true if a is equal to 4. For example 7, if we have to discuss the behavior of the function f of x is equal to 1 over x squared as x approaches 0 and ask the question, does this limit exist? Well, first thing, let's take a look at the graph of this. So if I graph in f of x is equal to 1 over x squared, then it's going to look something like this. where I have a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 0, and I have a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. What's happening here? As x approaches 0, the function is getting closer and closer to positive infinity. We can see that here. As it approaches zero from the left, as it approaches zero from the right, either way, it's trying to approach positive infinity. That means that the limit as x approaches zero for 1 over x squared does not exist. We can never actually hit a numerical value of positive infinity. We would call this an example of infinite discontinuity or a vertical asymptote occurring on the limit.